Hey everybody, it's Brad Eaton here again from the Dirt Podcast. We're back on the field here at Dayair Ballpark, and I am joined today by one of the newest Dayton Dragons, 2020 first round draft pick, Austin Hendrick. Austin, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, well, let's take a lap here and talk a little bit. So you are one of these unique guys that got drafted actually out of high school. So that's got to prove for some interesting, uh, interesting times. I try to remember back to when I was in high school. Probably wasn't ready to handle some of the things that you immediately got thrown into. Oh yeah. So what's it like when you get drafted and immediately go into pro ball right out of high school? Um, it, it's cool. It really is. It's a blessing. Um, you know, it's different. You know, coming from high school, you got a lot of kids immature, and you get thrown in. You got a guy that's 25, 23, 24, older. Um, but you know, it helps you as a person grow, be a better person, um, help you mature faster, and. I mean, it's pro ball. It's awesome. Yeah. So I mean, let's let's kind of looking back at your high school career, right? After your freshman year, mm -hmm. right? So you're probably what 13, 14 years old. Around there. You commit to be, you know, to go to Mississippi State yes, and sir. play ball, right? So that's unique. But I think one of the most unique things that I saw was you got to play in a home run derby mm -hmm. at Wrigley Field mm -hmm. as a high schooler, right? Mm -hmm. Like most yep. of us are just geeked to try to like go play on some of these nicer high school, or maybe a college field, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. You're in probably the single coolest park in America, hitting yep. dingers. What, yep. what is that like? Help us wrap our brains around that. You know, that was that was a really cool experience to get to play there, hit home run derbies there. Um, it was really, really cool. Um, the guys we hit against, played against, um, just that experience was, never forget it. Yeah, so you get drafted, you come here uh, and immediately start getting to know a lot of guys here in, in the professional ranks. Mm -hmm. like, who were some of the guys that influenced you or helped you when you first got in here to, to understand what it's like to, to be a pro and act like one? Um, you know, there's a lot of guys within, you know, the organization, um, a couple of the coaches, ED, um, you know, it, a lot of the guys that you, you learn, you learn to control your body, um, control your, your mindset, um, and kind of just feed off each other you know um, you find that routine kind of just grow with that and um, just try to be the best player and person you can be so you spent some time in Daytona last year spent a little bit of time at the start of the year here joined us about a couple weeks ago on the road what's it been like playing here at Dare Ballpark now? oh this is awesome man uh, all the fans here every day the experience the coaches the people um, you know and it's close to home I'm only a couple hours away from home too so I kind of feel like I'm at home so it's an awesome experience. Good to, good to be a part of the team and um, keep on winning. Yeah, so uh, you say you're just from uh, outside of Pittsburgh, right? I am, I am. 15 so about, minutes. Okay, so about a, what, three, four hour drive or so yeah, from here? Yeah, three and a half, four. Yeah, not easy drive too. Depends on how fast you're driving, that's right? That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your game, right? What, what, what are the kind of things that you're focusing on this year? You know, for me, um, I worked really hard. I'm an outfielder. I worked really hard in the outfield spring training. Um, you know, as a hitter, I like to think I'm a guy that can hit for average, but power as well. Um, you know, I just try to go out there and um, help the team win, and um, try to try to be the best five-tool player I can be. There you go. What, uh, what what's life like when you're not at the ballpark? What do you do? I um, spend a lot of time with family, play some video games, um, go hunting. Um, deep Christian, deep in my faith, and um, yeah, that's about it. That's awesome. Well, uh, congratulations. We're glad to have you here. We Thank look forward you. to some awesome things. You guys obviously are having a great first oh, yeah. half of the season. Awesome. So we look forward to you uh, to helping us out with that. 